What's up, everybody? Thank you for stopping by the channel. If you're into content, please like, subscribe, share the videos, and leave a comment. So recently, Star Brim, Cardi B, best friend, got out of jail, and she was pretty much talking about she would spank Ra Ali over the situation that happened between Cardi and Nikki. And I'm wondering, is it because Cardi got her tail beat? Question mark, question mark. I mean, what other reason would you want to spank uh, Ra for? Explain that. Because Cardi said she didn't get beat up. The one of the security guards accidentally gave her that knot upside her head. My money is on Ra. I, I done seen a few things about her in the past. And it, it looked like she could put a little bit of work in. Star, she just looked a little soft, a little pretty girl. I mean, yeah, she was in jail. And, and she probably got a little clout and a few little notches under her belt. But I don't really think she should run up on Ra Ali. Now, Ra Ali responds in this video and she lets Star know, basically... She's never called the police. She don't have no intent on calling the police. And, you know, she said, let's keep it straight. You know, basically, if you want to fight or whatever, what's all this, you know, uh, Instagram messaging, Twitter messaging, and all this talking all on the, on the vlogs, you know, putting out videos and stuff. Let's just do it the street way. So, I'm just thinking that Star might be clout chasing she trying to be heard she trying to be seen because if you really about that life then you're not gonna be saying nothing you're gonna move in silence and make it happen with regards to star i felt in my heart that with that situation it was when you're when you're a public figure or when you're anybody that's in any type of limelight a lot of times when um when these girls or these guys aren't in a predicament where they're financially set, sometimes they're like, they're just grasping for straws and they're just kind of looking for what's going to be the next thing that they can do that can keep them in the blogs or the next thing that they can do that's going to get people talking about them. And I felt like the situation with Star was kind of like a whole entire year later you decide that you want to make uh, a public statement about something that supposedly didn't ever happen. And I felt like it was just, it's just like her grasping for straws, looking for attention, hoping and praying that it did exactly what it did, which is get people to check for her, look for her, increase her followers. Um, and a, a good friend of mine said to me, you ever heard when Jay-Z said in the song, if I shoot you, wait, if you shoot me, you famous. If I shoot you, I'm nameless. It's like I don't have anything to gain from beefing with her on social media, but she has everything to gain from calling out, you know, our names in a situation that is beyond old. But if you really are with the shits and you really are what you portray yourself to be, you'll keep it in the streets. And that's when you are really with the shits. If, if, if you... I, you know, I post so often where I am or what I'm doing and, and not for nothing. Everybody knows where I live. I have to be super honest. Like everyone knows where I live. If you really, really going to ride for your friend and you felt like she was done unjust, you know, um, keep it in the streets. You know what I mean? Like, let's, you know, let's really do it for real. Let's not um, post DMs and things like that, you know. That's how I felt about that. And I'm always stuck between rock and a hard place because I have, you know, the people who are logical and who are paid well on my team that are like, don't do that. Don't say that. Don't this. Don't don't do that because, you know, you want your brand to grow. But then at the end of the day, you still are, you know, never going to really let anybody disrespect you, you know. So. It's one of those things, but I mean, and really, in essence, what what person that knows that they're being watched by authorities makes a threat unless they don't have any intentions of acting it through? Just doesn't make any sense. 
you guys, you know, you can always check my resume all the way back to to kindergarten. And I've I've never so much as begin to even attempt to call the police or make a report. I just wasn't raised like that or moved like that. The only time I would actually file a police report would be in the event I was burglarized and I needed to file a police report for my insurance company. Other than that, I don't even know the number to 911. Yes, I said I don't even know the number to 911. <laughs> so, um, you know, I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to leave it there, you know? One thing y'all know about me is I'm patient as a motherfucker, though. Don't y'all know that about me? So anyway. What else? What else? You know what I admire when you guys, when there's a post of a, of a person... Uh, of, of a public figure or a celebrity or whomever and you guys um, they're so unproblematic I love them I always wished that I could be I always wished that I could be <laughs> I could get that type because I really I actually am cool as hell you know like I really am I just don't tolerate any you know bullshit and then sometimes I don't I don't address certain things, which leaves you guys to make an assumption about how I feel about certain things. I should just talk more. But I was, other than that, I am. Yes, baby. You want juice? Okay. Give me the cup. Let me get the cup. You don't want no juice. Give me the cup. Anyway. Oh, Richard wants to join. I'm so nervous to even have, to even have Richard join. Oh God! And the the last thing I want to say, I'm gonna let me get the cup, baby, before I have Richard join. Is that I had saw, uh, back when I lost the baby, I had saw that people were saying that I had uh, made fun of, and I already addressed this, but I had made fun of Remy losing her child. And I'm just, you guys, not you guys, and I, when I say you guys, I don't mean you guys specifically, but. Y'all have got to stop making up shit. Like, I have never in my life made fun of her or anyone else for that matter. You know, that's not even, that's not even like something that you even laugh at. There's a lot of things that are funny, but that's not one of them. It's kind of one of those things where you're just like, oh, damn, and that's it. You know, like, that's horrible and you just move along. You know what I mean? I've never, ever made fun of her or anyone else. And with the way the internet is, had I ever done that, it would have been pulled up and you guys would have posted it everywhere. But I've never done that, it's so corny. Um, and don't ever think that I'm somewhere curled up and, and, can't, and can't prosper because I, I, I got a bunch of money and I got a good family, you know what I'm saying? I got a strong foundation. So even with going through that situation, I'm still able to push through and do whatever needs to be done to get me through it, you know? Complaints about the nails then. <laughs> right? You know what I'm saying? But when I want to have to tie my shirt earlier, <laughs> my nails, my nails. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> you got that open fun. <laughs> Sometimes in life you gotta pick a side though, you know what I'm saying? So when it comes to these chicken I'm not gonna wars, lie, even if Chick-fil-A was better tasted better, I'm going with the black sour garlic. We're rolling so. with Popeyes. Yeah. Love that chicken from Popeyes. Yes. Shit. Speaking of picking a side, you know, everybody, it's no secret that, you know, you 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 know a couple people out here in these streets, you know what I'm saying? And there's been some shit going on, <clears> you know, <throat> as a real best friend, you know what I'm saying? You would play a position. So since you picked a side with this Chick-fil-A and Popeye shit, you tell the people what you would have did that night if you was at the Hopper's Bazaar party. Listen, let me tell you something. If Talk I was about at it, that shit, I would have spanked Ra. If I see Ra right now, I still spank Ra. So it really don't matter. Like, and if I could have got to Nikki, you feel me, then it would have it went down too. You feel me? But that bitch is well protected. But it would not have went down the way it went down. Like, I don't know even how it went down like that. Like, 
I'm sorry. I'd be too overprotective of my friend. Not even because she's a celebrity, but it's because, like, I'm just more aggressive than her. Like, you understand? And I've I seen everything that she's been through. Like, I was there while she was crying. I was there when nobody wanted her to go further in life, when she yeah. was busting her ass, you know, to go here and go there. So it's like, you ain't going to pick on my motherfucking friend. Real Fuck that. Real friendship. Like, you ain't picking on my friend. I own all my friends. Like, to me, every friend that I have, you're mine. Like, I own you. Like, you're my kid. Like, you're mine. I feel the same way, but people feel like, like people like me and you are too intense when it comes to friendship, right? And I feel like that's what a friendship is about, though. You create a bond through the memories, like what you was just talking about, the moments where your friend might need you to to have, hold them down when they're having a private moment that they can only share with you. Mm-hmm. That's a friendship. Like, to me, that is the buy-in. Why even be friends if we're not going to be 100% loyal, completely ten toes? Like, yeah, like, I don't give a fuck if my friend is wrong. She's right. You feel me? And like, we gonna there work is, that shit there out is, later. Like, there is no, it. I might not even let you know you was wrong, bitch. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> yeah. At the end of the day, you my motherfucking friend. And guess what? You could have been right. I feel even the if same you're wrong, way. you could have been right. So, therefore, I'm taking your motherfucking side because I don't want you to take my side right, wrong, or indifferent. I don't Otherwise, give a fuck. Otherwise, why are we even like, doing this like, shit? Like, I don't give a fuck if she's wrong, if she's right. That's my fucking friend, and I'm knocking anybody heads off. Win, lose, or draw. Period. Friendship shit, real Period, friendship Pooh. shit. <laughs> right. <laughs> you know, it's, 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 it's rare, though, now. Everything is so fast paced, right? Motherfuckers want an instant reaction for everything. They want you to have some sort of, of I guess, just fake, whatever people feel like is politically correct or what they feel like, you know, will satisfy certain things so that you don't offend nobody. But sometimes when it comes to friendship, you just got to hold your motherfucking friend down. I just feel like I lived my life a long time worrying about how people felt about me to the point where it used to really affect me, like affect me emotionally, physically. Like I used to feel sick. What you mean emotionally? Sick. Like I used to get sad. Like I used to really get sad if you didn't like me or you feel me why this person feel away against me. Now it was like, I don't give a fuck. Right. Like, you know when people say they don't give a fuck? Because I used to say I don't give a fuck. And I really gave a fuck. I used to be like, I don't give a fuck what nobody think. And I really did give a fuck what you think. Like, yeah. you understand that shit used to affect me. I used to, I used to get mad. If I'm getting mad, I give a fuck. Now I really be unbothered. Like, I really don't care. Like, don't I don't. Don't feel good? Yo, it's like the best feeling in the world. Right. You feel light on your feet. I was feet. just talking to my friend about this. And I was like, yo, she's still so, like, everything affects her with Instagram. And it took me going to jail yeah. to not let stuff like that. The solution to all this madness is, ladies, look, just make money. Promote whatever you have going on and make money. All this fighting, going at each other, jealousy, throwing shade, it's just so unnecessary. Why can't you guys just make some money, build some empires, open up some businesses, be a positive role model? For the community, for women, empowerment. We can't never get to the top where we should be and be in control over things because we let our emotions control everything all the time. Cardi need to control her emotions and her mouth. Nikki need to control her emotions and her mouth. Ra, you can't be Superman for your friend because your friend running her mouth. Star, you can't come in being Captain Saver for your friend because she running her mouth. These ladies have careers. They're in the public eye. They should know how to control themselves and behave like women. They shouldn't be acting all tacky. Like, they from the projects. Well, <laughs> they might be, but anyway, that's besides the point. Act like you have some class and some money, and some dignity, you know, be a lady, you don't have to run around here trying to fight, and yes, people that run their mouth, they know the consequences of running their mouth, some people can't control themselves, so to avoid this type of stuff, you need to learn how to control your mouth as well, because if you can't control your mouth, you can't control your emotions, so I think all this madness just needs to stop, ladies, Chill, make money, 